Oh my god, I got so scammed in the train. I got so scammed. I had to buy two tickets to get home because I was an idiot and I got the wrong ticket. And the, the ticket that I was going to get was going to take me to back home like this. Right? Like this. But there was a disconnect somewhere here. So instead, the, the f train advisory app told me to go like this. Right? Like this. But if you go like this, there's a different provider. There's a different train provider. And so when I was here, I had to get an extra ticket. So they scammed me out of 12 of my euros, damn it. <laughs> I got kind of annoyed at that. I could have just taken the risk and then pretended I was stupid, but the ticket literally says you can only drive with this fucking train provider. It's so It bothered me so much. I got scammed. I got scamboozled. Yeah, but the thing is, I forgot my OV chip card, so I had to get an actual physical ticket. That's the problem. I got. I had to get an actual physical ticket, which is already a scam because then they charge extra. But then I got the ticket from Amsterdam to Venlo. And then you can choose, do you want to be able to travel with every provider or do you not care, or do you only want to travel with NS? And then I, like the idiot, I, well not the idiot I am, because on the, on the way to Amsterdam I only used NS. And on the way back, they sent me over Nijmegen, which meant that I had to get the other ticket and I was like, I, and the difference of that was like a euro or something, it was like nothing. And so I was an idiot. I have to get two tickets. Because of my own stupidity. But also... I don't know. I don't know what would have happened if I just uh, if I just stepped on the train. I don't think they would have given me a... Uh, what do you call it? A ticket. Alright, cool. Hey, uh, I suppose trains are relatively cheap in the Netherlands. But it, it, it's not really about, it, it wasn't really about that. It was more about the fact that I had to get two tickets for the same, same travel, the same destination. Thanks for inviting me over to your house. It was great, though I'm a little confused that you didn't invite me down for dinner, considering that I stayed the night. I also got a weird ticket from you asking to pay 0.77 euros for water and toilet paper. Which I thought was a bit odd, but I, well, I mean, listen, if you charge so much for your company, then I'm going to charge you 0.77 euros for the water and the toilet paper. Okay, for what, what, what? Huh? Wait, what, who are you again? I've never, I've never been to Iran. I've never been outside of Europe, so obviously I've never been to Iran. My parents did, though. You know what my parents did? Oh my god. My parents, when they got married, they went on their honeymoon. They got one of the, and I'm not making this up, right? They got one of those, those hippie Volkswagen buses. You know, those, those typical hippie buses, right? And they drove from here, down like this, and then like this, and then like this, and then they went to Greece, and they were like, oh, we were there, and there was a coup, and we didn't know it. And then they drove like, all the way like this, across Anatolia, through Iran, all the way to f India, and then they, they, they drove back after they got like halfway, and they were like, okay, we're, we're out of money now, it's time to end the honeymoon. <laughs> Go back home. So bizarre, it's such a cool story. It's such a cool story. Like, what a, it's such hippies, man. How long was that? Uh, a, a year, or uh, longer than a year. Longer than a year, something like that. Yeah, real hippie trail. Long line of math betus. <laughs> yeah, and um, you know, it's not like they really. I mean, they obviously they prepared, but it's not like like today you would know. Oh yeah, there's trouble in this region, and I mean, I guess back then you could have known if you like read the newspaper every day or something. But they they had no idea of any of the turmoil that was happening on the road. What? Whatsoever, I mean, it just went unthinkable today.
unthinkable. It's like, oh yeah, we were in Greece and there were tanks driving around and this thing. <laughs> it's a miracle that I'm alive. It's a miracle that I'm alive, ladies and gentlemen. And when they reached India, Flory's parents wept, for there were no more roads to travel. Uh, as you commented on giving away soup to people to decrease war exhaustion, soup requires produce, it means decreasing war exhaustion is giving away soup. Can you comment on how using toilet paper decreases inflation? How using toilet paper decreases inflation. If you're using toilet paper, that means the paper market will be overheated. Which means it'll be harder, relatively harder, to print paper money. And so there's less money because people are wiping their ass with what could, could have been money. And so inflation goes down. Uh, I think that's a solid argument. I, I think I should be an economist. <laughs> Money becomes bottle caps then. Ah, no, 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 it's 1528, those haven't been invented. But uh, I don't know if it was like last year or a year before that, but there was this Hungarian politician that signed all these, um, or co-signed, or I don't know, developed all these anti uh, anti uh, LGBT uh, laws and then uh, he was in Brussels and he got caught no not Orban it wasn't him he got caught in a in a it, this was during corona so parties weren't allowed and and he was uh, caught in a sire yeah he got caught in an orgy in a in a gay orgy he got caught <laughs> So I thought that was pretty funny. He was doing research to see what to ban. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. So I guess that would be my favorite, if, if that's a word. Have you heard of the congressman who spent tw uh, 1,200 campaign funding on Steam games? I didn't. Oh god. Whoa, 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 whoa. I really gotta leave. I really gotta leave. Anyway, uh, have a good one, and I'll see you guys again uh, tomorrow. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and tomorrow we'll finally get to play with, uh, with and uh, if you're wondering about coring range, don't worry about that, because I've got core, so I don't need to core this land.